everyone, my name is Eve and in this video I'm going to be showing you a typical day out in Glasgow. In doing this I'm going to be showing you my five top places that I would suggest of somewhere that you could go in a sort of afternoon or evening as a day trip to Glasgow. So Stirling is a great medium sized city, it's a great student city, there's loads of stuff to do. However, if you feel like something a bit different to do or you fancy a day trip away, Glasgow is only a 20 to 30 minute train journey. Both train stations are located right in the city centres of each city. So you can go directly straight from Stirling city centre right to Glasgow city centre in a matter of half an hour, which is great. You're also able to get discount on your rail tickets in the ways of things such as rail cards. Glasgow is a big city with loads to do, especially as a student. There are loads of really cool bars, outdoor areas that you can go to, events. There's always something happening in Glasgow, so as a place to visit as a student, it's a really, really great day trip. The five places I have chosen to show you in this video today are five of my personal favourite things, but there is plenty more to do in Glasgow, and I'm sure there is something to suit absolutely everybody. So, as I said, the train from Stirling to Glasgow only takes about half an hour, which is really, really convenient and very, very quick for a day trip. The trains are pretty frequent as well, which is really good, so in terms of getting there, you shouldn't have an issue with getting there and back whenever you arrive at the station. Another convenient mode of transport once you arrive in Glasgow is the subway. The subway is very, very fairly priced as well, which is great as a student. Another convenient part to this is one of the stations is just right outside of Queen Street Station. So the first place that I'm going to be suggesting today is if you're looking for somewhere for a coffee or a light spot of lunch or a cake, and this is Kelvin Pocket. Another really convenient thing about this little cafe is it is actually directly across from the Kelvin Bridge subway station, which is only three stops from the Buchanan Street subway station. They offer a whole variety of cakes and sweet pastries. They also offer some gluten-free and vegan options. On top of this, they do some more lunchy items and of course lots of different coffees and hot drinks and also some soft drinks too. They also just have some really cool retail items available such as the coffee that they use. This is just an example of one of the vegan options that they do, which is a roasted broccoli, hummus and hazelnuts on rye bread. Overall, this cafe just has a really nice and chill vibe and if you're just looking for somewhere to go and sit for a little bit to start off your trip to Glasgow, this is an ideal place to go. As Kelvin Pocket is located in the west end of Glasgow and within the west end of Glasgow you have loads of other places to walk such as Kelvin Grove Park or Kelvin Walkway, but one of my personal favourites is the Botanic Gardens. It's very conveniently located, but there are also a number of amenities on site. This includes the likes of their couple greenhouses that they have, which unfortunately on the day that I went were closed, but I tried to show you a little idea of what there are inside them. There's just more tropical plants, which would be really nice because even if it was a slightly rainy day or you got caught in a shower, this is somewhere that you can go for free and go and have a walk around. On top of this, they also have a tea room and conveniently they also have a bathroom. Not entering the greenhouses, the botanic gardens are just a gorgeous place to walk. They have loads of different areas that you can go and look through, from vegetable beds to a herb garden. They also have a little rose garden, it's like a little maze that you can walk through which is amazing. There's also this really quirky bench which has been knitted which is really nice to just go and see and it's just overall a really beautiful and peaceful place to go for a walk as a start to your day. The next place is also in the West End and this is Kelvin Grove Museum. Given the name, as you can probably tell, it's also located in Kelvin Grove Park. This museum is huge and it is so beautiful as well. You could easily spend, I would say, maybe two or three hours in here if you were really interested in looking at everything, which I definitely was. There's a little picture of the floor plan so you can get an idea of what there is to offer. But there is a whole variety of things from sculptures to art to just generally interesting artefacts. They also have a very nice grassy area out the front, which would be very convenient for if you wanted to have something such as a picnic out in the sun. 
Now next, if you're looking for somewhere for dinner, I highly recommend the Duck Club. So this is in Partick, which is slightly further out in also the west end of Glasgow. And this was great. They had such good food and they also have a completely vegan menu, which if you're like me and have some dietary requirements, this was really, really helpful. They have a form of half-pass menu, so you can order a lot of little dishes if you'd like. They also have some bigger dishes. And so myself and my friend ordered a load of small dishes and every single one of them was absolutely delicious. I would highly recommend the cauliflower the most. So the next place that I have to recommend is called Banana Moon. This is more if you're looking to just chill out and sit down in the evening. They have indoor and lots of outdoor seating, which is great on a day like the day that I went when it was super sunny. And they just have some really quirky looking stuff. They also have some events with live music, which is really nice if you manage to go on a day where that's happening. As you can see when we were there, the sun was absolutely glorious and the atmosphere is just fantastic there. So those are my five recommendations of places that you could go to have a really great afternoon evening out in Glasgow. There is of course plenty more to do and if you know Glasgow well you will probably realise that most of those places that I showed you were within the west end of Glasgow. But if you're looking for something that is more city centre based then there are places such as Block. Block is a pub bar slash restaurant which also have a fully vegan menu as well as a meat menu but if you have vegan requirements then that is a fantastic option for you. There is also Bavaria Brauhaus which does sort of traditional German food but again you can swap out the sausages or schnitzel for vegan sausages which is really really great if you have that requirement. The environment there is also just really awesome. It really makes you feel like you're in Bavaria. The theming is really really cool and the staff are all really friendly. And if you're also looking for some more sort of entertainment options there is the Glee Club Comedy Club which is in city centre also. They have reasonably regular shows on so if you just check their website Site, you'll be able to find dates and times of shows that they have. Myself and my friends went there about a month ago to go and see a comedy show and it was really really great. Not only were the acts fantastic, the atmosphere was really great so that would be another great option as a more evening activity if you're looking for something else to do whilst you're in Glasgow. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it showed you the sort of options that you have available out with Sterling because as great as Sterling is it's sometimes nice to get a bit of a change of scenery and try somewhere new and with it being only half an hour away on the train and the train being pretty frequently, Glasgow is a great option of somewhere to go and visit and try out and see what there is to offer. So thank you for watching and I hope that if you do go for a day trip through to Glasgow you have a really great time and if you do go to any of the places that I recommended I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do. Thank you for watching and have a great day and a great trip to Glasgow if you choose to do so.